Hey, so what's up guys? It's your boy motherfucking hacker Andrew here and today I'm going to be talking about the install package files uh, 0.1 or the package enabler version 0.1 released by Autex. Basically this allows the user to disable and enable or in English make the install package files an appear and disappear. So why is this good? Well the 3.56 update since the 3.55 um, basically checks the XMB to make sure that you don't have an extra icon that looks like that or is call or is named like that. Um, so what does that mean? It basically means that now we can hide from Sony and basically hide the install package files. So in the future, if somebody were to come out with a 3.56 firmware or custom firmware, I should say, um, and this is built in, um, then that would be cool. So I mean, this is pretty cool so far, guys. It's not working on GeoHot firmware, Wu Tang Gerza. Um, which, uh, you know, applies or adds on the GeoHot. So it's not, there isn't a download link for that, but, you know, it is available for the other firmwares. Hopefully, um, the developer, Autex, will release it for the GeoHot. It's not important right now. PlayStation Network is down for us anyway. Um, but it is a pretty cool find. But like I say, guys, like I always test everything out, and I make sure that I am well-informed before I give it to you guys and give you guys a crap video with a crap package. If it's not, you know, worth reviewing or talking about it, then I'm not going to make a video. Um... And of course, guys, don't be a fucking, don't be a bunch of retards and go on the forums and start fucking trolling on here like this fucking dumbass. Let me go ahead and just share with you guys right here. It says, hello, everybody. Anyone can tell me why this program was released. Um, it was released here. I'll just answer the, the fucking dumbass comment he wrote. Um, it was released so you can hide and show your install package file so Sony doesn't ban you. And then he says, I can't see nothing useful in and run this. I don't even know what the fuck that meant. I don't even know if English. Um, in, in the long run, this is useful, you dumbass, because now we can hide the install package file so that the 3.56 and future firmwares don't find it. Um, why I removed the install package files from the XMB? For me, it's useless. Well, for you, you're probably just an idiot and a troll, and you don't know anything you're saying, because it is pretty useful, especially when trying to hide it from Sony. So, I mean, this guy's just a troll, guys. Don't fucking go on a forum and start posting stupid shit. Especially when somebody like me is going to talk shit about it. So, um, if you're watching this video, fuck you. And I, I'm glad you're a troll. You're a typical troll. But, whatever, guys. Um, I just thought I'd keep you guys updated. It's a pretty cool find. Um, it basically enables you... Um, allows you to enable and disable. So, it's a pretty cool feature. Um, hopefully, somebody will integrate this and add this to another firmware, like I said. And, I mean, it is what it is. I had to I had to share that with you guys. And I had to share the troll with you guys as well. Because stupid people like this just get on. And it's just, it's just hilarious for me to read this shit. So, um, if you guys want to come check out the the, uh, the post, it will be on PlayStationGroove.com, and I will give you guys a link. All right, guys, peace.